Yesterday, Nintendo announced a spontaneous new patch for Smash Ultimate. I'm C5 from the beefy Smash dudes and even though this time around there weren't a lot of balance changes, we're gonna show you everything new in version 5.0.0. As usually, the new patch is also accompanied by a new character. Banjo and Kazooie are finally playable alongside their new stage and a bunch of new songs. Additionally, the old school mode Home Run Contest was added to the game. Brings back memories, but Sakurai also said that this might be Smash Ultimate's final new mode, which is a bummer. Now on to actual character changes. First of all, and most importantly, they finally fixed the weird buffer mechanics after air dodging, which was one of the problems we were discussing in our three biggest flaws of Smash Ultimate video. Before, if you air dodged into a direction and held the shield button without holding into a direction, your character would still buffer a roll or spot dodge upon landing. After 5.0, you can safely hold shield afterwards and simply shield on the ground without buffering anything else. After a grab parry, some characters had more lag than others. Now, the lag is supposed to be universally equal for all characters. Yoshi was not able to buffer or hold buffer a grab right after rolling. In 5.0, he has no problems with that anymore. The multi-hits of Peach's and Daisy's up special are supposed to connect better into each other now, so opponents randomly falling out should happen less often. In a previous patch, the ability for Nana to trump opponents on a ledge was removed. This was patched in again in 5.0, which allows for some more crazy ice climbers tech. Villager was not able to knock opponents out of a berry with up smash, but now it should always work. Usually, when Rosalina fell asleep, Luma was always still able to attack, except if Rosalina fell asleep from Hero's snooze. This was fixed and now Luma can also attack after Rosalina was snoozed. For some reason, when Joker and Hero fell to the ground face down, they were taking longer than usual to get back up. This was changed and should now be consistent with all characters. If Hero's fully charged neutral special, Kefriz, touches an opponent or surface, it explodes and hits multiple times. These multi-hits were previously not seen as projectile by the game, so it was not possible to absorb them, reflect them or use something like Link's shield to block them. Now you can absorb, reflect or block those multi-hits. The final character change has to do with Hero's magic burst. Maybe the hit lag or hit stun at the beginning of the move was increased, but we honestly weren't able to tell any difference. And lastly, the final smash ball will now move slower and be easier to hit overall. Huh, I feel like I forgot to mention something. Hmm, what was it again? Oh, oh, right, yeah. Sans is in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate Baby. Well, not really. But once again, there are a few new Mii costumes available, including a Sans costume for Mii Gunner and the famous soundtrack from Undertale, Megalovania, which is pretty damn hype. This was the smallest Smash Ultimate patch so far, but we did get some good bug fixes and finally Banjo and Kazooie. Subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with future patches and remember that our projectile merge will only be available for less than a week. So if you were planning on getting it, don't miss your chance. As always, thanks for watching, see you soon and stay beefy.